As the Master Chief Collection has been released on PC, there has been a big debate between mouse and keyboard versus controller. A lot of people like to blame aim assist, but I believe it's a much bigger problem than just that. So in this video, we're gonna break that down. Stay tuned throughout the whole thing to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, give you another gameplay commentary. Today we're talking about mouse and keyboard on the MCC as ever since the release of Reach on PC, there's been a big debate between controller players and mouse and keyboard players and whether or not keyboard and mouse is at a disadvantage in the game. So if you like these kind of discussionary kind of commentaries, please make sure to tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more content like this and it really helps out the channel and video a lot guys. So let's get right into the discussion here. With Crossplay currently in the in design phase before being actually developed on, so we're going to be probably seeing it by the end of this year, would be my guess that this certainly will have to take into consideration. You'll be bringing in a lot more control players play against PC players, and so hopefully, there'd be some things they can work on. 343 currently has not worked on anything due to the aim assist in this game, uh, as because they didn't want to mess up any kind of potential cross play, you know, abilities coming to the game. So, as somebody myself who really tried to get mouse and keyboard to work on this game you know I thought maybe I just I need to play a little bit more and just get better experience you know I put I put thousands of hours into other shooters on mouse and keyboard and they feel great but in Halo it feels a bit different so in this video we're gonna be talking about like the 1v1 battles you'll be seeing map design player movement weapon fire rate tracking of players and things so many other things that go into consideration when it comes to the feel of a game it's so much more than just aim assist in my opinion if you look at high level mcc play on pc it's all played on controller because most of the gunfights you'll be getting yourself into are going to be within that close mid range which is exactly when aim assist is needed on controllers i also want to mention how the aiming in the game play on controller and on mouse and keyboard you're basically using the same techniques as you're using your motion to be the macro movements and your micro movements with your aim happen to be with the right stick or your mouse and so then you're really using utilizing the same techniques on both platforms so why not use the benefit of having aim assist on top of your regular aiming techniques a lot of people like to point out like a solid 1v1 gun battle now obviously there's so much more in the halo than just being a good 1v1 kind of player obviously positioning and timing weapons and strategizing with your team is about 90% of the game and only about 10% is actual shooting but it is a shooter so you want to make sure that feels good and people on mouse and keyboard don't want to feel like they're playing at a disadvantage and honestly in 1v1 standard like BR standard gunfights the controller is going to win because that's prime aim assist range right there. A lot of the 4v4 maps are specifically designed with that in mind so then your standard gunfights feel really good and consistent when you're in that red reticle range your bullet magnetism and aim assist are at its highest highest. Like I said, obviously good players will try their best to avoid these 1v1 battles, but they do happen and most of the times the way the player moves, the distance that you shoot at, the fire rate, it's kind of in favor of controller players because that aim assist is designed to kind of help keep the guy on tr your cursor within that distance. Another thing I want to bring up here is, like I mentioned, just like I touched on earlier, is map design. These 4-4 maps are specifically designed for aim assist to be taken into effect. And I found that BTB, actually, you feel actually pretty good play on mouse and keyboard. That longer range certainly helps out with the extended range of motion that you have with the mouse. Uh, so when you're playing B2B, it's not that big of an issue with mouse with aim assist because a lot of times you're even shooting beyond your aim assist range. So actually mouse and keyboard has a little bit of an advantage there. So we're gonna be looking at this more at a 4v4 competitive style because that's where this really becomes a factor. Obviously in your social memos, your BTB, you're fine. Uh, but the, another thing you wanna take into consideration is your player movement movements. Uh, fast side to side motions actually might be a little bit more beneficial to the controller as inside that range. Your aim is going to be kind of wavering left and right a little bit without even having to move your stick. We're having to do on the mouse and keyboard. It's much more difficult. Uh, though I could see maybe if your strafe was wider, then it actually might be more beneficial to the mouse and keyboard as snap aiming. Like if you were playing SWAT, it's actually a lot easier on mouse and keyboard, but having that consistent 
accuracy is what makes it really difficult. Like I said, side to side strafing and also jumping are very unique aspects to Halo as a shooter because most of the really popular shooters that at least I've played on mouse and keyboard and a lot of the other top keyboard and mouse games that you see like Call of Duty, Battlefield, Rainbow Six Siege, Counter-Strike, PUBG, their shooting styles are much more stationary. Like you sit up behind cover, peek around a corner and pick someone off. Where in Halo, there's, you're moving, you're jumping, you're having to whip around your aim at the same time. There's a lot more motion going on there, which making it might be a little bit more difficult to be very consistent. Plus with those other games, the time to kill is much faster than it is in Halo. So consistency in your shots is extra important in Halo, where in other very popular shooters, maybe not so much. I think the weapon fire rate also is a very, very big consideration when it comes to mouse and keyboard play as in playing hardcore reach that fire rate of the DMR is a lot faster than when you're taking into consideration strafes and the rate of fire definitely takes an advantage if on the side of the controller uh, though I feel like when you're playing social reach with mouse gear but it actually feels all right because you have that bloom it extends that TTK and so then you can actually have time to kind of reassess your aim and shoot again compared to with hardcore reach it's almost kind of spammy where you really do let that aim just kind of take control on the aim obviously it's not making you shoot 100% all for you, but it certainly does help out a lot. Having a slower rate of fire, I've noticed, and I think a lot of people also have mentioned in my Twitch chat as well, that having that bloom slows down your fire rate and actually makes it more manageable for keyboard and mouse controllers to be more accurate. Another thing that really actually has a big advantage for controller players is tracking. I noticed this mainly with the BTB mouse, but this also just kind of applies for the shooting mechanics in general. You have an infinite range of motion on your controller if you hold your stick all the way to the left you're going to keep spinning until you let off the stick on mouse and keyboard you have a limited space you know anywhere from six inches to 19 inches i've seen generally for mouse pad space and obviously you're going to have to be have much better snap accuracy on mouse and keyboard which it does provide for you there but being able to track and be consistent if you're like trying to lead a shot trying to line it up a little bit more that pressure's on you on mouse and keyboard and also while you're tracking if you're in range that aim assist can kick in and help your tracking even better on controller and also generally you have to keep in consideration that these legacy halo titles are designed from the ground up with controller in mind they've designed those games to feel good while playing with a controller that you know they might have tried to make it work with mouse and keyboard obviously ce came out in about 2003 on pc and then 2007 with halo 2 vista and but those were their own ecosystems and so then there wasn't any crossplay or any people even really bothered plugging in a controller at those at those times or it wasn't even 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 a really an option back then so where this wasn't really an issue but now you got these different input devices playing against each other it, it gets it can get a bit messy so determining what input device you're going to be using greatly affects the development of the game from the ground up it'll obviously affect the player movement the weapon fire rates recoil management map design user interface bullet magnetism and so much more it goes into consideration when just figuring if you're going to design your game with controller or mouse and keyboard in mind or try to do both now would we expect any major changes for the mcc at the moment, I wouldn't really expect it. I think aim assist, bullet magnetism, all that stuff is probably going to stay about the same. Because when you change one little thing like aim assist or red reticle range or anything like that, it's greatly going to affect all the other weapons in the game like the needler for example was used where if you change the aim assist on all the weapons in the game the needler will be literally useless in the game but that's just one small example if you do wide swaths of changes that's the kind of stuff that will happen you just say lower aim assist well lower aim assist on what now 3v3 does know about the complaints about aim assist and it's currently on like the backlog of issues right now that they're probably not going to get around to working on because we have halo infinite coming around here guys in like five Five months and so it's going to be very unlikely we see these legacy tiles be changed like that i think right now if you're going to be trying to comp play competitively of rank up in the game you might have to stick with controller but if you're just looking to have some fun yeah mouse and keyboard you'll be just fine honestly like it's not like a huge disadvantage but if you're playing you know for ranks and trying to you know optimize your gameplay controller might be the way to go now obviously this probably also makes you beg the question well what about halo infinite i'd be extremely surprised if halo infinite does not come with crossplay between the xbox series x and the pc platform as we do know it's going to be on the 
the Xbox One, Xbox Series X platform, as well as PC, and how Microsoft's been moving towards this inclusive environment of Microsoft platforms that it's going to have crossplay. Like Gears of Wars had it, uh, Forza Horizon series has had it since you know the Xbox One days. So what could 343 do to possibly take this into consideration to make sure that both input devices are viable options? Well, one, yes, probably lowering down the aim assist a bit on controller would help, but obviously not to the point where it might as well be playing on mouse and keyboard because that would be unfair to controller players. I would say whatever your workhorse weapon is, either be a pistol or a BR, have a little slower fire rate, I think would greatly help. Maybe something along the lines of Halo 3, maybe even a little bit longer than that, because it would just give PC players a much more of an opportunity to help uh, aim that cursor on, just give them a little extra time, because it always seems like you're getting a little rushed when you're on mouse and keyboard, at least from my experience and from other people I've reached out to as well. Map design is certainly something to take in consideration as well. A map like Sanctuary, well, you're gonna come across aim assist very often, because all throughout the map, that pretty much can become across mid-range gunfights. If you design your maps in certain ways, you have long lines of sight, short, close, mid-range kind of stuff, like good mix, it wouldn't be such a drastic effect on the gameplay as well. Player movement would also be a major factor. Something like in Halo 5, if you had that much movement of your character, I think mouse keyboard you actually find a really good benefit of because really good strafe method in Halo 5 was to put three shots into a guy, jump up to say like the right, and then shoot another shot on the guy, then boost over to the left, which would basically make it so hard to snap at your accuracy over using a controller, pretty effective maneuver. But in probably on PC, probably wouldn't be as effective. So there's certain things that you can take in consideration when it comes to player movements to where it would actually help out mouse and keyboard players to be a little bit more competitive. Possibly having a faster or wider strafe option would be that as well, maybe a higher jump height as well. But do you guys have your own fixes you would like to see for mouse and keyboard compared to controller what make changes would you like to see or if this may maybe just a long gone issue with the classic halo tiles and this is something that needs to be taken into consideration for halo infinite let me know in the comment section down below i do read all the comments down below if you guys like the discussion kind of commentaries make sure to like that like button Makes me know you want to see some more content like this. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you're missing any content from me, check out the videos on the screen right now. I've got a link to all my news and information videos if you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so. so thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it, and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace out.